to my channel. Today's video I am super excited for. Before we get started, I do have to ask you one question. Are you as ready for fall as I am? I am so ready for fall. I know it's not even September yet, um, but I've already been digging out all of my pumpkins and fall decor and I am just, and I keep seeing everybody post on Instagram all their pumpkins. So I dug out my bin and I asked you guys on Instagram, would you like to see a fall decor collection? I figured we would go through everything. And of course, of course you know, I'm gonna be doing a fall decorate with me video, like when I decorate my vanity and my whole beauty room but I figure I'm gonna hold off on that for another hmm, probably week or two until we get into September um, but yeah so we're gonna go through my whole pumpkin collection and I'm gonna tell you guys where I got everything I know a lot of you are on the hunt for pink, pink pumpkins as well um, before we do get into that though I did want to show you this super cute organizer um, that Sorbus Beauty sent me the other day and it's pink so I figured I'd show you guys how I organized that real quick and then we'll jump straight into the pumpkin okay so here it is I went ahead and did add some stuff to the top of it so I'm gonna use this for skincare I just put some primers um, and some setting sprays up top um, I like how it's got all the little separate bins for everything and this organizer does rotate it's super easy to assemble so I put my shelves in and I like it because you can adjust the size of them so we're gonna go ahead and organize the rest of this got a bunch of masks in here um, some skincare I love the way this thing spins around so you guys definitely check them linked in the description all of their organizers are really good quality and super affordable so let's go ahead and put her in place I think this just makes the perfect addition to my vanity I was able to get rid of my other acrylic organizer that was big and bulky and I'm just super, super happy with this. So thank you so much Sorbus Beauty for sending this over. And yeah, let's get into the pumpkin. I'm gonna start off with two of my most favorite pumpkins. These are from Home Goods. Um, these are from Martha Stewart. So I have one right here that says thankful and then another one right here that says blessed. Um, I found these last year at Home Goods. These retail for only $14.99. These are glass, I don't know if you would say glass, I guess ceramic pumpkins. I don't know, but super cute. Um, these are probably two of my most favorite pumpkins in my collection. And I've seen these at TJ Maxx as well. So if you guys are on the hunt for these, definitely check your home goods in TJ Maxx. I just, I don't know what it is about these, but they're just my favorite ones love 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 them and martha stewart i've noticed a lot of her fall decor is in home goods and everything is just so adorable so another home goods find from last year is this pumpkin right here is this not the cutest thing ever this one was $14.99 as well i love the shape of this pumpkin and of course 
it's the perfect shade of pink. And then another little cute one I found. This one was from TJ Maxx. This one was $9.99. This is just a basic little pink pumpkin um, with a little brown, is it brown or gold? No, it's brown, with a little brown stem up top. So both of these right here. Um, I've noticed pink pumpkins, like if you are looking for pink pumpkins, Home Goods is your spot for sure. So I told myself this year, um, of course, this isn't going to be all my fall decor. I'm going to add some more. And I do want to find some type of really pretty, like, glam fall gar garland to go over my vanity and stuff. So I figure we'll do a shopping vlog of that coming up. Um, but yeah, I just figured I would go through all of my stuff from last year. Uh, another one that I really love is this blinged out it's got so it's got pearls and diamonds on it this little pumpkin was from home goods this one was $12.99 and I've got a bigger one like this and some smaller ones I'll show you guys in a minute but I love this and then this one is from Ross so this was $6.99 um, it's pink and gold and it says be grateful on the front super super cute and I'll tell you where else I'm excited to go shop for fall decor at is um, at home stores. They always have a lot of really cute uh, fall stuff. Uh, this little pumpkin right here is from Michaels and I really hope they bring these back this year. Um, maybe in a different shade but it's got pearls and some sequins detail right here on it. Uh, I think this one was like $6.99. I honestly wish I would have bought more of these. And then we've got a little box full of mini pumpkins right here. So in here, I've got this little pearl one, little mini, and then the little diamond one. These are so cute. I think I'll probably sit these on top of my vanity when I start decorating with them. And then these right here are literally the cutest mini pumpkins ever. You guys. So these came in a set of four. I think I've got my other one behind me on my shelf back here. Um, and they came from, I want to say they were $12.99, but you guys look how cute, how cute is this? just adorable love these so if you see these grab them up I mean I remember last year um, my TJ Maxx got these in I think they had like maybe 10 packs of them and the next day I went back and they were all gone so if you see them I highly recommend grabbing them up and then what else do we have in here we've got a little DIY pumpkin just a little white pumpkin with some little pink top and then just a little pumpkin from Hobby Lobby right here I like the mini pumpkins I really wish people um, people I really wish they would um, come out with more uh, mini pink pumpkins I just think there's so the next one is from Ross this was $8.99 super cute um, it says hold on, let me get this pumpkin before it falls uh, this one says, hello pumpkin, right on front. I've noticed Ross, um, for pink pumpkins, like they don't really get in much, but when they do, they're super cute. Um, this one right here, and then this one is from Marshalls. I love like the glazed look of this. It doesn't say anything special on it, it's just a pink pumpkin, but I really love how it's got that pretty glaze on it right here. This would be cute with like a little ribbon tied on top of it. So this one I actually have, it's dirty. Uh, this one I actually have, I think three more of. This is one of my all time favorite pumpkins. This is in velvet. I guess you would call it velvet. Um, and you can find these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Last year they were $10.99 and um, I noticed this year at my TJ Maxx they were $6.99. So that's a plus but yeah I love this pumpkin um, I've actually got one on my vanity sitting over there right now um, I just love it it's a little velvet pumpkin the only thing that sucks about this pumpkin is it gets super dirty everything sticks to it like up top it's got so many fuzzies up here but yeah super super then I've just got another little basic pumpkin just a solid pink one this one was from Marshall's for $5.99 
and then this one is so cute this one is from Ross and this one was $6.99 and it says blessed on the front and it's got that really pretty almost like an iridescent glaze to it can you guys see it super pretty I hope they come out with more of these um, like this this year too it's super cute so I've got a little mini one right here. This one was from Home Goods. This was $4.99, just a little basic pink pumpkin. And then a little mini one from Hobby Lobby. I think they still have these this year. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. So if I do the fall garland on my vanity, I'm gonna like DIY it and probably go with pink and gold or maybe pink and silver, I don't know. But I might try to get some mini pumpkins and glue it to it. See how that works. Um, and then I've got this little white pumpkin that I found at Joann Fabrics last year. And it's white and it's got the little sequins on it. And then this one was from TJ Maxx. I can't see the price on it, but it's velvet. Just a really, it's not pink, but it's super cute. This one is so pretty. This one is from Home Goods. This was $14.99. Guys, look how pretty this is. It's got all these pearls on top. And then it's got the studded knob. And it's almost like, what do you call this? Mercury glass? I don't know. Um, but that's what the bottom of it is. I love this pumpkin. This is so glam. Um, and then this next one was super hard to find. I was so happy when I did. Um, this one was from Home Goods. This is the one that says fall in love. You guys, everything about it. The quote and then the shade of pink with the silver on top. This is literally the cutest pumpkin ever. This one retailed for $9.99, so really good deal. But yeah, so cute, so cute. Don't know what the brand is. I wanna say this might've been Martha Stewart too. I could be wrong, but it's not so cute so next up i've got some little martha stewart candles um both of these right here these were 6.99 um and i can't remember if i've showed you guys this yet or not but this one smells like a vanilla cupcake right here and it's in the darker pink and then this lighter pink one is from last year and i have burnt her down <laughs> she's totally empty um yeah, I think these are just so cute. I think they also come in white and navy too. And the plus side is uh, they smell good. Next pumpkin is from TJ Maxx. This was $12.99. Um, I just put this little Juicy Couture bow on top, but it's got a little gold stem. Um, this is kind of like a flat matte texture to it, I guess you could say. Um, and this one is from the brand Cupcakes and Cashmere, I think really cute pumpkin and I've got this one sitting over on my Ikea wax shelf. So this next one has a story behind it. She's a big one. Um, This is for sure my favorite out of my whole collection. This baby costed me a pretty penny. So last year um, when I saw this pumpkin I searched and searched and searched for weeks. I think it retailed for $34.99 in Home Goods, and I could not find it. Luckily, my friend Evita found it in her Home Goods, and she was wanting the Fall in Love pumpkin that I found, so I got that one for her. She got that one, this one for me. Um, I did pay her for it, of course, but it's so heavy. You guys, this is so heavy. Um, it cost me a total of, like, this pumpkin ended up costing me $80 for shipping and stuff, like total $80. So, uh, let's say I love her dearly. Thank God she didn't get broken in shipping. I couldn't believe it, but yeah. So, this is literally my most expensive pen, uh, pumpkin I own. I call this the sweater pumpkin. Um, like, it's got like a little sweater design on it. So cute. I have seen this one in a darker pink up top, a lighter pink here, and then the green on the bottom. But yeah, I love this pumpkin. If you ever see it in Home Goods and you're wanting it, for sure grab it because these are super hard to find. Um, and by the way, while I'm talking about super rare finds, there's one pumpkin that everybody found last year. It's hard to find as well, but it's pink and silver. I call it the Cinderella pumpkin. Um, it's got like silver swirls on the top of it. 
uh, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it, but I call it the Cinderella pumpkin. I'm on the hunt for that one. I hope I can find it, but yeah. That's the story behind this pumpkin. So the next one I have is, I guess you would say kind of like it. So this next one I have is from TJ Maxx. This one was $9.99. It's pink um, and it's just a little fabric pumpkin with a little gold stem. Super cute. And then these next few aren't pink, but I figured I would show you. Um, I've got a bigger version of that Joann's fabric pumpkin right here, the little white with sequins. And then when I ordered the uh, pink pearl one I showed you guys earlier from, where was it, Michael's. I was supposed to have two pink ones and they accidentally sent me a black one. So this is like the only black pumpkin I own, but I still think it's cute. And then this one is just a little gray pumpkin from TJ Maxx that says Hello Fall that I thought was really cute. Um, I think that's it for all my beauty room pumpkins. Of course, I've got like three bins worth of pumpkins for my house decor, but most of those are like orange and cream color. Um, but if you guys, of course, you know, I'm going to do a beauty room fall decor tour, and I'm sure by the time I do that, um, See, I'm really waiting until I've got all my decor in. I plan on getting some more stuff. But if you guys would like to see a video of me decorating my house, I mean, my house, I guess you would say, is kind of like a country decor style. I don't know if you guys would be interested in it, but if you want to see a decorate with me video of me and my house, let me know because I can definitely do that too. Um, but yeah, I guess that is it for all the pumpkins. I wanted to show you guys really quick before I wrap the video up. I redid my coffee bar area. You probably already saw this if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, go over there and follow me, you guys. You know, I post on there pretty much every day. And especially during the fall season, I'm going to be posting all of my fall finds. But anyways, I wanted to show you. So, um, I redid it. It is, I mean, I've only got so much space to work with here, but it is what it is. I added the little fall in love pumpkin and I've got my little mug from Vintage Chick Diva. Uh, I get questions all the time about this gumball machine. That is from Macy's and if you catch it on sale, normally it's like 80 bucks, but if you can catch it on sale for $34.99, definitely grab it up. Um, of course, you know, I've got my little organizer here from Coffee Glam Bar, a uh, little Martha Stewart pumpkin. And then up top, you guys know this picture is from Burlington. Um, I don't think I'll ever change that picture. Like if I ever rearrange this coffee bar area or go with a bigger table, I think I'll always keep that picture there. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. So be watching out for my fall decor, decorate with me. We'll do that in a couple of weeks. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up and if you made it to the end leave me some leaf emojis and i'll see you guys in the next one